Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, as you can see, I'm in a different location. I'm traveling, but uh, I have another video for you. Um, this time it's about intervals in succession. So the next thing that we're studying is intervals in succession. Um, in fact, two random intervals in succession. And uh, unfortunately, our textbook does not have something to practice this with. Um, but I found another site with a tool that will let you practice most of what you have to do for this um, in the most essential parts. And so what we're going to do is we're given a note, given a starting note, and we can, we're even told what that starting note is. So here's a starting note of A flat. Okay, then we're going to hear two random intervals in succession, and you need to be able to identify what the, what the intervals are and what the notes are that you would write down. Okay, so let's suppose that we have these two intervals. Now, frankly, to me, this is easier than hearing a single interval all by itself because it gives you some context. So this sounds like a melody to me. Not a long melody, but an, uh, a short melody. And I think any th any three notes by themselves are going to let you hear them in some kind of key. Now, I hear this particular uh, set of notes as in the key of the first note with a chromatic alteration. Um, but whatever works for you, you want to be able to hear the intervals. And I think you want to hear the intervals as they'd fit into a key. That's not officially part of the exercise, but I think it's a useful thing. So if we Suppose we took this first note as Do, and I don't know how you hear it, but let's 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 just assume the first note is Do for now. Do, do. The second note is up a fifth. It's Do So. So if I start on A flat, up a fifth is going to be E flat. And then let's hear the whole little melodic fragment, as it were, the two intervals in succession. So what's that going to be? If, if this is Do, So, then this would be Fi. It's only a half step down from that, from that last note. So Do, So, Fi. And so Fi, if, if So is E flat, then Fi is going to be D. Exactly. Okay, so let me pick three other notes. And we'll, we'll sort of think our way through that one too, okay? So let's suppose that we have these notes. Um, let's hear it again. Now, we could hear this in a couple keys. Um, one of the ways that you could figure out a key center to, to give yourself uh, would be to think of how you would complete that melody. If that's what we did, now, my first note that I played, because that's going to be given to you, was a B. If, if we feel this in the key of this, then what key was that? That would be, you'd hear the three notes in the, in the key of E minor. And in fact, they all fit into the key of E minor. So then, then what would you have? You'd have da, 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 da. If this is Do, then you started on So. So may fa may re may re may do so may fa. So if you have so may fa in the key of E minor, what notes would that be? We already know that we're starting with B. So then we have what is that? That's a minor six. Up to May, so May, and that May is going to be E F G, G, so May Fa, Fa, 
If G was May, then Fa would be A. Simple. B, G, A. And, and, and then that leads into another fun game that I will tell you about in another video. But meanwhile, there is a tool that you can go to online that will let you practice just notating two intervals in succession. And uh, you, have to, you have to tweak the controls a little bit to get it, um, to get your, your truly random intervals. So you need to, um, I'll, I'll give the link below, but uh, you have to set the, uh, it has a, a level thing to set it, and you want to set it at level 20, which is for chromatic har uh, harmonies. There's a, a thing for key, but if you're in chromatic, then it doesn't matter what key you're in, right? And then uh, over on the right, it will have how many notes in succession you want, and you want to bring that back to three, three notes in succession. So I'll put the instructions below as well, and you can go there and you can practice three notes in succession. And then I'll tell you in another video about the game. Okay? Great. Have fun.